Right, welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to create uh, dynamic links using PHP. Now, uh, I'm starting up from a previous tutorial, so I've got this uh, testing.php page which um, uses a do while link to uh, display multiple results on a page. Uh, it looks a little bit like this here, so it goes through a table full of articles and displays the headline and also the author. And what we're going to do is turn these into links and add another page called News Article, which will display the information just for that particular article. Now, uh, to give you a visual idea of what it looks like here, this is where we're starting. Um, so when you click on one of those links, it's going to send the ID of that particular news article to the other page, which will then run a, send a uh, query away to the database. It will send that news ID off to it, we'll run the query, and it will send the data back to that page and display it. So uh, first thing to do is to create that second page. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is copy all this stuff here at the top because uh, I'm just going to have to reuse it anyway. So I'm just going to copy that and uh, create a new PHP document. And right at the top there, I'm just going to paste that stuff in and now I'll save this page as newsarticle.php. Okay. So we'll come to this and we'll uh, modify the query and the code later on. So for now I'll just return to testing.php and uh, what I first need to do is just modify the query that we did. Um, I just need to bring back a little bit of extra information so I'm actually going to add news ID comma um, to the front here so now I'm actually bringing back three pieces of information for each article. Um, and after that, what I'm going to do actually is place it in reverse chronological order. So I'm actually going to say order by, and um, because I don't have a date field in my table, I'm just going to use the, uh, the ID number and I'll put it in descending order. So that means that the highest, the highest number will uh, appear first um, down to the smallest number. So uh, that's how the query is going to look and uh, the next thing to do is just come down to our loop and just have a look at how this works first. You can see uh, what it does is it repeats this line here 19 over and over and over again and that is putting the headline of each article by and then the author's name. Now I'm going to have all that information as my link so I'll just go here and add an, an A or anchor tag at the start and I'm just going to link that to the news article page there we go, and I'll close that link after the author. There we are. Okay. So uh, what that means now is all that stuff will be a link. Uh, at the moment, though, it doesn't matter what I click on; it's just going to go to that page, and there'll be no information displayed. There's no nothing sent. What we need to do is we need to send the ID number of the uh, article that you click on. Now the way to do that is to turn this into a dynamic link. So after the P in PHP. I'm actually going to add a question mark and then news ID equals and so we're going to uh, attach the ID number um, and call it news ID. The way to do that is use PHP and I'm actually going to echo from my record set the news ID there. So what that will do is it will say go to the news article.php and it will send a news ID of whatever it happens to be for this article. So uh, the best way to demonstrate that really is test it. So I'll just save that and I will test that by pressing F12. So see how that goes. Yeah. So that's what it used to look like there. And uh, oh, suspense is killing me uh, while we wait. Um, yeah, that's what it used to look like with the. Uh, plain text, not a link, and now on our new page each of them is a link, so you can see that that much is working. If we hover over each link and then look down the bottom of the page, you can see at the end of the link it says question mark news ID equals 21, that's the ID number for that first article, the most recent one, and there's ID 20, so it is in reverse chronological order, which is good. Article number 3, 19, so on right down to the bottom article with an ID of 1. So uh, it seems to work now, which means 
if we go to the news article page we will know what article it is that we're meant to be displaying so that's a good start right so back to Dreamweaver now the next step is open up newsarticle.php and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of code just above my query here so I'll just clear a couple of lines get some space and um, I'm going to set up a variable called news ID and I'm going to use the get method here to grab it out of the URL so the, um, the, the ID number has been sent using the get method or get array I guess and uh, we're grabbing it here using this and putting it into a variable called dollar sign news ID. Now in our query where it says here in line 7 select headline I'm an author I'm just going to change that now so I'm selecting all the information from news but I only want to select that for the uh, particular article that was clicked on so the way to do that is I filter it by saying where news ID equals and I make it equal to that variable that I created in line 5 so this is only going to grab the information for this article, the one that was clicked on. Right. Now, the, uh, that's pretty much all you need to do in terms of filtering and getting the information. The next step is to display it on the screen. So I'll come down to the body of the uh, website, web page, and uh, I'll just format it basically. I'll just put the heading headline inside an H1 tag, and uh, I'll just go, um, where are we here? PHP. We'll just echo in the headline and close the heading and uh, what other information the author will need so uh, just do it as a normal paragraph um, by and then I'll just echo in the author and close that paragraph and finally the article itself so a new paragraph and we'll echo the article. So a lot of repetition I know but um, it still works. So uh, those are the three lines there. So if we save that now, uh, what I'll do is I'll upload both of those to my testing server and I will run the testing page and see what happens. So just hang on. So I'll just jump over to the bit on the right here, but my news article and testing somewhere around here and I'll just upload both of those now go to testing um, actually we don't need to test that do we? we've already got it here so I'll just go back to IE and where's my first article let's see what that looks like I click on this it goes off to news article and would you look at that there's the article itself it's got the correct headline author there's the article, and if you look in the address at the top, news ID equals 1. If I go back, we'll try uh, testing the marvellous admin form, my third one. And there it is there, different content. So there you have it, dynamic links. They're all going to exactly the same page, but the content on those pages has been changed depending on what link you click on. There you go. Oh, actually, sorry, before I finish, one last thing. <laughs> Nearly did it. Um, one thing that probably you should look at is just adding a little bit of error catching around this bit here when we process the, uh, the ID number. Um, if someone tries to come to this page where they haven't set uh, the ID then uh, you can get errors. Um, a basic way of doing that might be um, something that's just hard coding it in. Um, I'll just use an if statement here so say if uh, I use the is set function there and then um, so if our news ID was set, close, what's that, two brackets there, then, so in squiggly brackets, everything after this point happens. If it is set, then we'll do what we'd already you know, decided to do. Um, however, if it's not set, so else, we do what's in this squiggly bracket, and um, in that case, I'll just hard code news ID to one. Um, and then close the squiggly brackets. Now that's kind of assuming that um, news ID or that article number one is never going to be deleted, which is you know, could be a little risky. Uh, in other ways, you could work on that. You could use the uh, the headers command to redirect the page back to um, 
the testing page, the, the list of all the articles. Um, it's up to you how you deal with it, but that's just a basic way um, using the if and is set command. So anyway, that's a slightly extended now tutorial on how to create dynamic links.